What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys another guide for Pokemon Legends Arceus for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be showcasing the best way to grind XP in this game. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. It only takes a second of your guys' time and it really helps me grow as a content creator. But like I said, in today's video, we're rocking out, trying to showcase you guys the best way to grind XP because you know every single Pokemon game needs a way to grind XP. Pokemon need levels. Everybody wants to do it fast. So we're going to be showcasing three different ways on how to do that. So let's get started right into the guide here. The first method here is going to be in the Obsidian fall so you can actually go to the field lands camp you can go to the heights camp it don't really matter i actually like to go to the heights camp might be a little bit quicker on doing this and what you want to do is travel all the way over to the falls i forget what, like the name of the falls but let me check on the map i have it located on the map so the obsidian falls and right over here where i stamped this pokemon there's going to be an alpha blissey i'm pretty sure you guys maybe saw this guide or not this guide this uh this method before but i have to showcase it off considering about how powerful it is for grinding xp so what we want to do is make our way all the way to that falls. So there's going to be an Alpha Blissey over there, and Blissey gives you a ton of XP upon killing it. It's absolutely amazing. You cannot go wrong with it. So I have the bird. It's going to make everything quicker, but you can actually do this with the Weird Ear early on in the game. When you first actually get Weird Ear, you can, like, hop up on these rocks to our left and kind of, like, I wouldn't say glitch it, but, like, kind of just, like, get out of the map a little bit and get up to the area super, super quick. But since I have the bird, it makes everything quicker, and we can make our way over to this Alpha Blissey. So... Alpha Blissey is chilling here, and you can pretty much kill it with any Pokemon, but you kind of want to have somebody with a fighting move, because it just makes life 10 times easier. This Pokemon is super bulky, so killing it as quick as possible is going to be having a Pokemon with a fighting move. So what I like to actually do here is uh, go around to its back, but it will actually see you, so you kind of just want to trigger it to fight, and you want to hit it with a back shot, just so uh, you can actually get two turns out of it. So we're going to wait for this thing to charge. She's probably going to hit you a few times, maybe with Water Pulse, and here comes another Water Pulse, and can I dodge it? Yep, there's a nice little dodge. And come on, you know, do a little charge attack. Do a charge attack. Charge up, baby girl. Charge up, baby girl. There it is. There's a the charge attack. We're going to dodge over here. Go to its back. Hit it with a back shot. And there we go. So what a back shot allows us to do is to go twice right off the rip, depending on the Pokemon speed. But it catches them unaware, and usually we can go twice. So I'm going to hit this thing with a close combat. I have my lovely Cleaver out here to do some big damage. And he's going to chip off with a close combat. The big damage goes there. We get the defense uh, drop, and this thing's going to be stunned due to the back shot. So I'm just going to hit it again, knock it out, and there it is. Big XP coming forward. Look at this. Pussy goes down here. Look at the XP on our left side. Bang. 4,000, 4,000, 8,000 for the Pokemon that killed it. You get double for the Pokemon that killed it, and you can just rinse repeat it by going here, going back to the Fields Land Camp, going back to Jubilee City, and head it right back into it, and just rinse repeat, rinse repeat. And if you have to heal up your Pokemon, say they're not the high level, you can heal up right at that camp so we're gonna do it one more time just to showcase to you guys how easy and how simple it is but sometimes just sometimes you have to do your little survey report with Leviton, which is kind of annoying sometimes but it is what it is it is what it is but we take it all day but i really do like this first method right here which or the second method is kind of the same thing with taking out alpha pokemon because you get a bunch of items from it as you guys saw we got a seed of mastery item from that pokemon so it's really really good that we got a seed of mastery from that pokemon because a you can use them for yourself or you can sell them for money so at the same time while you're grinding xp at the same time while you're grinding xp you can actually be farming money as well so what we're gonna do rinse repeat i should have went to the heights camp but i'll show you guys the pathway to the uh field lines camp so it's pretty simple but yeah as as the same time you're farming xp you're also getting items to sell these Pokemon will drop Seeds of Mastery which sell for high price. They can actually drop XP candy that sell for high price. Or you can use it for even more XP to gain. It's absolutely amazing. You cannot go wrong with it. Like I said, I think the Heights Cam uh, method is a bit quicker by going to there. But this one works just fine. It's really not that much longer. It's probably like a couple seconds longer. It's really not too bad. Braveyard kind of gets you there in a hurry. Which is absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. But yeah. Like I said, this is just a rinse repeat cycle. Cannot go wrong with it. It is super, super good. And it is super, super quick. So I'm going to hop off Braviary, and I'm going to send him again just to get that updraft. Just, get, just kill, kill a bit more, or not kill a bit more time, gain a bit more time just by getting that updraft and being able to glide a bit faster. So once you get over here, Blissey is legit straight up on that falls. So I have Sneasler. I have all the Pokemon. I'm just going to climb the rock. But like I said, you can use Weird Ear and kind of like traverse your way up these rocks over here. It's really, really cool. And sometimes Chansey spawn here. And this is actually pretty cool. If you do see Chansey spawn here, you actually take out Great Balls or whatever Pokeball you're using, throw it at it. And, of course, I missed. It's probably going to see me now, isn't it? 
Nope, it doesn't save me, but you can actually catch these Pokemon over here for additional XP. Chances do give out a decent amount of XP. Look at that. Quick little thousand right there. And you can also get these rocks here too and go from there. So we make our way back to the Blissey instantly. Not that much time at all. And we're just going to wait for this thing to do a charge attack. Just wait for it to do a charge attack. That's going to allow me to do this. Oh, I thought it was. I thought it was. I went for the around the back shot. We'll try to take this out regardless. And this thing probably might kill me. We'll see. It's going to set up a calm mine. That's going to do some big damage. That is going to do some big scary damage. And I can definitely see this thing just ripping straight into me. Definitely going to be ripping straight into me very, very soon. We're just going to hit it with a close combat. See how much damage we can do. But this is why I like to actually do the back shot. It's because you get an extra turn. You can just go twice real quick. And you can just kind of go from there. But this thing calm mines. He uses water pulse and he absolutely dumps all my cleaver. Absolutely dumps all my cleaver. So you know what? I'm just going to bring out. Who should I bring out here? I'll bring out. Hmm. Who, who do I want to get some levels? We'll go Gudra here. Gudra's level 65. Like I said, whoever kills a Pokemon will get the most XP. They will get double the amount of XP. I'm going to go for a strong style Dragon Pulse here. And I think this should be able to take him out. But not going to lie. I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't. Because Blissey is bulky. Especially with Calm Mind. The Dragon Pulse pokes. Oh my lord. This thing is so bulky. He's just going to softball. He's going to constantly do that. And it's, that's kind of annoying. That's kind of annoying. He's going to go for a double edge. This thing's just going to start teen off. Not even going to lie. His stats return to normal, which is great. And Gujra's not hitting that hard, so. I guess we'll just go for regular shots. I guess we'll go for regular shots. Should have brought out a different Pokemon like Braviary. So Gujra said, nah, yo. Gujra just said, nah, yo. We do hit hard. I guess it was because we were using a special attack and move. But we'll go for a strong style shot. Iron Head should be able to take it out with a strong style. I believe so. I hope so. I really do hope so. Make, let's make it happen, Gudra. Strong style shot comes out here. And there it is. Blissey drops down. We're going to get that ton of XP. And more importantly, like I said, we get some good items. Seeds of Mastery, back to back, and Grit Gravel, which is absolutely amazing. So there it is. There's the first method. Let's head back to the Field Lands Camp and start showcasing the second method, which is another Alpha Pokemon thing. And we're definitely going to want to be uh, healed up with our Pokemon for this one because this Alpha Pokemon is 10 times stronger than Blissey. But it does give you more XP. So it's definitely a post game Pokemon. You have to be in the post game to actually make your way towards this area. So, what you want to do, actually not towards the area, towards this alpha. The alpha does not spawn until you actually do that. Until you actually beat the main story. So, once the post-game triggers, you can head to this area, which is going to be the Alabaster Icelands. And I'm talking Levitin over here. He's doing all of the reports. That's the only problem with doing, like, the alpha ones, is every time you go back, it's going to, uh, Levitin's going to trigger most of the time. And be like, hey, yo, you got to hand in your report, all that good stuff. And you're just like, dude, I don't feel like wasting time. I'm grinding XP out here. But... We're going to head over to the second area, which is going to be the Alabaster Icelands. Where's it at? Right here. And we're going to go want to head to the, uh, what is that place called? I can't even think about it. I'm going to have to see the map. Jeans is going to have to see the map. But Braviary and Sneasel are definitely going to come in handy here. But what we want to do is head over to the Avalanche Slopes right down in this area right here. Like I said, you have to be post-game for this Pokemon to spawn. So once you get post-game, you can actually do this one. And there is a level 85 Alpha Pokemon. Crazy strong, you guys are gonna see exactly what Pokemon it is in a second. But once you can uh once you make your way up towards this uh mountain, it's pretty much a smooth sail with Braviary after that. So I kind of just like to use Braviary, get my updraft, and then get on the wall and climb with Sneasel and get to the top of this mountain. Then once I get to the top of the mountain, I'm gonna switch back to Braviary and you know, just get cruising along. Because you know, nothing nothing is better than cruising along with Braviary. So we'll take Braviary, we'll hold down B for a speed boost. There is a crowbat down there if you guys are looking for it. Just flying out through the air, gotta hit him with jet ball. Feather ball, whatever, whatever kind of ball that flies straight to catch that Pokemon. And we're gonna head over here towards the avalanche slopes. And if you, you're gonna want to head all the way to this back corner over here, back little ledge over here. I don't even know what to call it. And you are going to see a lovely, lovely, lovely Alpha Garchomp, level 85. Like I said, so this thing is deadly, definitely deadly. You're gonna want to have an Ice type Pokemon or Dragon Pokemon to fight it. And if you are post game, you will probably have a Dialga or something to actually fight off with this thing. And of course, I missed the back shot, so this one's going to be tough. This one's going to be tough. I might want to run. I might want to run. See what he's going to do. Is he just going to send an Earth Power? We're dead. We're dead. He's just going to drop an Earth Power. Usually, I like to hit it with a back shot and then go into my Dragon Pulses and kind of just take it out from there. But of course, this thing is just laying in. No problem. He's just laying into me. No problem. I'm going to swap to my Samurai. But this Pokemon is definitely really, really tough. You want to have a strong Pokemon to kind of just farm it out and one tap these guys left and right. But it is what it is. I'm just trying to showcase it. Uh, this to you guys so you guys can do this at your own pace and with whatever Pokemon you want. But like I said, this is a post game Pokemon. So when you beat the post game, you're going to have either Palkia Dat or Dialga, which is a very, very great Pokemon to battle up on these guys with. Now we're going to go from there. I'm going to use a strong style, uh, 
strong style hydro pump just to do as much damage as I possibly can to this thing. He's probably going to end up taking out a few of my guys, but it is what it is. I just want to take it out once and show you guys how much XP this Pokemon is going to get. He's going to send another Outrage Samurai. I'm sorry, buddy, but you're going down. You are going down. But yeah, these two ways are, are great alpha ways. They're really, really good because, again, you're farming uh, money as well. You're farming money as well because you're getting great items to level up your Pokemon. You're getting XP candy. You're getting Seeds of Mastery. All that good stuff, which is absolutely really, really good. Just really, really good. We're going to send out a Bravery Art here. We're going to drop a lovely little Agile style, and we're going to hit up this thing with a lovely little Esper. There we go. Chip away, and one more. We'll take it out, but he's probably going to take me out here, right? What's he sending here? Outrage. Dude, this thing hits like a truck. It's like an absolute truck. Look at this, dude. Too good. Way too strong. Way too strong. You definitely want to try to get like an ice move on a Pokemon. I know Samurott does learn an ice move from the uh, training grounds or any ice type Pokemon will just shred through because it is four times super effective to the guard job. Lovely. It is lovely. We're going to send out Arcanine here and I'll, all I really have is Crunch and hopefully a strong style Crunch can take this thing out because I really don't feel like losing another Pokemon. But if it doesn't, we know this boy is just going to drop a lovely Earth Power and take this out. But there it is. We defeat the guard chomp. He's going to drop a great little Seed of Mastery alongside Grit Gravel and look at all that XP we get. 8,000 for my Arcanine, almost 4,000 for the other guys. And Blissey kind of gave out the same thing, but it's really good to take out the Garchomp because, you know, it drops better items or has a higher chance of dropping rare items for money preferences and for uh, maybe XP candies and getting more XP that way. But we're going to head over back to Jubilee City and showcase the third and final method for XP farming. Now that we're back at Jubilee City, we're going to be showcasing the third and final way to grind XP in this game and in my opinion this way is the best way to grind xp hands down you get so much xp you can constantly be grinding up and just keep on going but the reason i like the other two methods is because you're getting a bunch of items to sell and you're also farming money at the same time so you guys can choose what preference you guys like or what method you guys like and do it at your guys' speed but there is also this guy over here who i really want to talk to and showcase to you guys real quick he has a little side mission for us but i really do not do it i just want to talk to him because he sells xp candy so if you guys are doing the alpha spawns and doing that that method right there you're going to stack up a lot of money by selling stuff if you guys want a little bit more xp you guys can also go over here and buy these little uh these little what's it called these xp candies they're, they're a little expensive but they're really really cool they're really really cool look at this you got 1600 for a small one you got 6000 for a medium one 18000 for a large one and this is the best one you'll get the most bang for your buck this one but it is super super expensive 50000 poke dollars but it will level you up like crazy like i gave it to like a level 70 pokemon before and it gave him like four levels like that's a lot of xp that is a lot of xp for a level 70 pokemon but let's get started here with the third and final method we're going to want to talk to my boy ingo over here and he's going to be like ayo jeans you gotta battle some Pokemon. And you're just gonna hit Wenton right here. And you're just gonna rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. You can sit here, and I kid you not, just constantly hit A and do this infinite times. Unlimited times. It's absolutely amazing. So he's gonna have three Pokemon. It's gonna be Mothum, uh, Jolteon, I think. And what's the last one? And Gastron, I believe. Mothum, Jolteon, and Gastron. And they're about level 50, 55. I should say mid 50s. So they're not too hard to beat. And you will get a decent amount of XP just by defeating them all, which is great. So I'm just gonna send some Aqua Tails over here, see if I can chip up on him. And oh my god, we almost one shot him. We need one more level to be able to one shot him. And of course, this guy uses a lovely little and just lasers me. Just lasers me. That is off. I'm not even gonna lie. That's that's pretty stupid. That is pretty stupid. I don't like this game one bit. Not one bit. I'll send out my cleaver, I guess. But dude, if my uh Samurai was one more level, he could just kind of sweep through this whole thing because his Aqua Tail hits like an absolute. Shot. It really does. So we're just going to hit this thing with Sonax. They see you later, Maltham, and head on to the next Pokemon, which is going to be Jolteon. But I kid you not, you can just sit here and go A, 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 and just farm XP for days. Farm it for days. Of course, he sends out his Gastron. That's probably going to take me out, right? Yeah. Takes me out all day. Takes me out all day. But you should, when you're doing this one, have a Pokemon that can just sweep. So if you want to catch that Alpha Garchomp, catch something along those lines to absolutely just shred through this. It is definitely a great move. Definitely a great method because you guys will see once we defeat this battle that you can legit just keep hitting A and do this whole thing over and over and over again without moving. You can legit just go like A, 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 A and watch a movie on the side. Go on your phone, do Snapchat, do whatever you guys want and farm XP. And that's why I say this is the best way to just farm XP by itself. So we'll take out the Gaston. He's going to throw out his final Pokemon, which is going to be Jolteon. And we know Jolteon's going to pop out here and just one tap us with an electric move all day. Yep, here comes Thunderbolt. Later, Braviary. We saw that coming all day. We saw that coming all day. But if my uh if my Samurai did survive that that first shot right there, 
he would have or or if he would have one tap that first one we would have been able to just sweep left and right because uh jolteon we could take that thing out easy easily it has lower defense and gaston it will not be able to kill us with one shot two shots off and just rip from or rip on it from there i'm gonna drop a nice little flare blitz we're gonna take this thing out and we're gonna roll from there flare blitz boop later skater get him out of here beautiful they're done all day so the reason i say you can actually mash a as you guys will see in a second, but I want to showcase the XP that we get. It's about, let's see, 3,000 or it might be a little bit less than that. Let's see. Let me see my XP for the squad. There it is. About 3,000 per Pokemon. About. Around. So, legit, your character will not move after this. He will be right in front of Ingo, so you can legit go here. And your Pokemon will automatically be fully healed, and you can hit the same button. Look, I didn't even move my character. I'm hitting A again. I'm mashing it down. There it is. We are right back into the battle. And if, like I said, if you have a strong enough Pokemon, you can just, hit, just keep mashing A. A is the fight button. A can, can confirm your move. Just make sure you have your best move on the top thing. Then he's going to send out Mothman. And I don't know if I should go for a strong style here or if I should roll another regular style shot here. We'll give it a try. We'll definitely give it a try here. But look, I'm just going to hit A. I'm going to hit A again. And look, I'm just going to be sitting here and just keep mashing A. Take this thing out, please. And look at that. Gone. Get him out of my face. That thing is gone. He's going to throw out Jolteon probably. Right? Yep, Jolteon comes out here. And look at this. I just have my thing on my shoulder. He's going to drop a Thunderbolt. Can we eat that? We do eat it. We do eat it. Look at that. And he goes twice. Never mind, dude. Never mind. I was just going to mash A and just roll through that thing. I was just ripped up on that thing. But we'll bring out our lovely... Who do I bring out here? We'll bring out my boy Electrode right here. Because, you know, we know he has a gas shot. Electrode will tee off on some damage and kind of roll from there. So we'll go here. We'll drop a nice little Energy Ball. And we get to go twice, actually. Which is awesome. Energy Ball is going to poke here. Drop another energy ball. We'll take the suit out. Just keep mashing A. A, 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 A. Unlimited XP. I kid you not, you can do this a thousand times. Unlimited amount of times, which means unlimited XP. Really, really dope. I really do like this. thing's going to drop a Hydro Pump. Psh, that's like We'll drop a nice level of energy ball. And we'll say GG because this will be four times super effective. And my boy hits like a truck. So Gastron drops out there. And there it is, guys. Easy XP that legit you can farm unlimited amount of times unlimited amount of times it is dope it is dope give it to me look at that beautiful beautiful super quick super effective there is ladies and gentlemen three ways to farm xp super super fast in pokemon legend arceus if you guys did find this video informative or just enjoyed the content make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and if you guys found any other methods that are quicker definitely leave them in the comment section down below but seriously you guys rock out make sure you guys spread some positivity today and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out everybody